so excited, you guys. I love Halloween. I can't even wait. <laughs> back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be doing an October plan with me but before I jump into that I want to announce what I'm doing on my channel so I'm starting a new series that I'm so 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 excited about there's a couple youtubers I really love watching that do uh, daily videos during the month of October personally I really love fall October has always been my favorite month of the year I love Halloween and I thought this would be really fun so while I'm not doing a video every single day of the month of October since Halloween is probably my favorite holiday, I thought I would do a countdown to Halloween. From today until Halloween, I'm going to be uploading a video every single day, so make sure you're subscribed so that way you don't miss out. Today is one of actually four videos that I'm going to be doing that are bullet journal planner related. If you wanna see how I'm planning my month for October in my bullet journal, then just keep watching. I did film this while I was actually drawing it out I thought I would kind of walk through it with you too so that way you could get my thought process a little bit how I'm planning this month because it is slightly different compared to my previous bullet journal video it's definitely changed over the last year I'm super excited so far with how it's going on the first page I did do an October title page so I drew a little pumpkin and I'm working on my handwriting I use the quote I am so thankful to live in a world where there are October's and I definitely apparently forgot how to spell thankful when I was writing this so but I think my handwriting's really improving so that's good but anyways I am working on my uh, hand lettering so that's kind of something I've been setting as a goal for myself for this month is to start practicing my handwriting I am using the Crayola super tips markers so the thin ones and I really like them so far they're really adding a lot of color to my bullet journal I did use some watercolors I actually have a previous video if you'd like to see how I use watercolors in my bullet journal I'll link that video in the description box or up on the screen so you can check that out this next page I have my monthly log and I am actually using the more traditional format for the monthly log now. So if you've seen my past bullet journal video, this was the first time I did uh, a monthly layout, more of like the blocks, right, that you did for every day. Um, but what I did for this month is I did more of what the actual bullet journal system recommends. I have all the dates down the left hand side here along with the day of the week and then that each line just separates each week here. So uh, again, I'll pop a video in here too so you can see kind of what that looks like. But what I'm doing with this now is any upcoming events I'm putting in this monthly log. If there's anything outside of today, it goes in my monthly log. I've been putting my work schedule in here, any like upcoming events that I'm going to, things like that. Anything that's outside of the current day is going in my monthly log here. I'm not using a habit tracker this month, but what I'm doing instead is I set specific goals that I wanted to have for different areas of my life. So I have a focus for financial, spiritual, physical, and then emotional. So I have those written out there, and then I have a couple goals just bullet pointed. And then this down here, again, I'm going up 
off of the bullet journal original system so this is my task list so this is everything that has either been carried over from the last month that didn't get done or I know that needs to get done at some point during this month when I go to set up my daily log for the next day to see if there's anything on this task list use that to compile my daily log and then I have this page is still really blank right now but this is going to be my memories page this is going to be the first month in I think 20 six months that I haven't done a daily gratitude log. I thought I would do this since I journal daily also, and I'm kind of using that as my gratitude log, a Polaroid a week for memories, and then kind of journal about it on the side if I want to do that. So that's what I'm using this page for. In the past, I was setting up my weeks ahead of time. I found I wasn't sticking to it that much, and I think it may be because it reminds me of what a traditional kind of daily planner is. You only have so much space that's allotted for each day, um, and I think that's what I didn't like. What I decided to do instead, and I been doing this now for almost two weeks. I literally don't create my daily log until the night before. This is an example of what one of my daily logs looks like currently. So I just have the date here and then I put all my tasks and this next date doesn't get written in until that day is over. But I found that it actually has kept me so much more productive and using this so much more doing it as a daily log like that. The right hand side here is actually the 14 nights of Halloween. So it's my YouTube planner. I'm really excited. I have it all planned out for every single day. And then I have a column to check off when I do each task. So I have a box for filming, editing, the design work, and then the uploading. So I have a task box for each of those things. I have the topic listed and then the date that it will go live. In addition to my full-time job, I'm also doing YouTube. I was just finding that I just wasn't having enough time to do everything I needed to get done. So I've started setting specific date deadlines for myself and that's really been helping. Next, I'm so excited about this spread. If you follow my planner Instagram, it's at fearless plan. So if you are interested, you can follow me there. That's all just planner bullet journal related posts. I have a spread for the last 80 days of 2018. So these are the goals that I want to accomplish with the last 80 days. I was inspired to do this from the last 90 days challenge by Rachel Hollis, the author that wrote girl wash your face. I came into it kind of late. So I'm doing the last 80 days instead of the last 90 days, but I have my goals here. So these are all of the goals that I want to accomplish in the last 80 days and then this section is a little bit of a tracker for me I've got each week in each row and then I have the column for the day of the week so that's kind of how I'm gonna be tracking instead of using a habit tracker this month and then on this right side oh I love how this turned out so much I did my ideal morning routine I am trying to get back into the habit of doing the miracle morning routine basically waking up early to live your best life I wrote out my ideal morning routine starting with my wake-up time which is a little bit earlier than I normally probably would but again I'm currently working a full-time job so making this work with what I have and then I have a little doodle by each thing to just kind of make it more fun I'll drop a clip in here so you can kind of see what that looks like it does follow the miracle morning and then I just have a little quote at the top too that says if you want to make your dreams come true the very first step is to wake up Last but not least, I just have my daily planner for today. And I do have a small gift planner at the bottom, but I'm not gonna show you that because it's for my boyfriend and I know he watches my YouTube videos. <laughs> that is pretty much everything that I have for October so far. I hope this is kind of helpful to see how I plan. Personally, I really love watching these videos because I think it's just really fun to see how other people plan in their bullet journal and it's so customizable and I love my bullet journal so much. I wanted to show you guys what I was doing since this month so far. It's really, really working for me. I feel like this has been my most productive month and I really love it. Long time. I hope you liked this bullet journal plan with me for October. If you did, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you back tomorrow. So excited for this video series that I'm doing. We're going to count down to Halloween together. Make sure you're tuning in every day. I've been working really hard on them and planning everything out. If you're interested, over the next 14 days, I'm going to be uploading videos related to my bullet journal, minimalism, and just different things related to Halloween and the fall season and getting into that fall mood. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have an awesome day.